，醒股无双，一个以轻松游戏术语，带出严谨投资态度，以不同心法为你判断何时系拆武器定装备嘅一小时财经节目。主持人醒常现身说法，为你部署入市时机，深入浅出答问题，包你有数。啊、Hello， 大家好，嚟到咧醒股无双最后一个时段咧，就系、是。關於呢個 algo trading 嘅啦嚇，咁四點後我哋先會有股票嘅。好啦，咁啊呢個時段咧就其實有啲朋友都問咗啲問題嘅啦。咁啊，阿 Kelly 咧就問 ：Are there algo traders in Hong Kong? So gentlemen, why don't you answer?、Uh, yes, yes, actually there there are. I mean, there's a、uh, there's a popular strip. It's Hollywood Hollywood Road. Hollywood Road.、Uh, there's a lot of program trading firms.、Um, Along that road, only on that road. That's, well, it's, it's a popular road. <laughs> well, Hollywood 度都已經有好多人咧，係已經係誒用 algo 去 trade 緊嘅。咁 ，do you know what kind of algo they're trading? Cryptocurrency or or stocks or futures? Do you have any idea? Look, I think the majority of、uh, algo traders、uh, will trade、uh, anything they can get their Systems to work on,、mm-hmm. uh, whether it's futures,、uh, whether it's Hong Kong stocks,、um, arbitrage type models,、mm-hmm. where they arbitrage between the different exchanges.、Uh, look, it, it really comes down to、uh, the individual, the firms. I mean, a lot of the firms in Hong Kong that we're aware of,、um, you know, are based in either the US originally,、mm. and then they'll come to Hong Kong for the time zone. Uh, there's also some from Australia here,、uh, and also、uh, Netherlands or the Dutch.、Mm. The Dutch are definitely here, so、okay. it's a good time zone. All right. So we know that a lot of people trading algos、uh, in Hong Kong, but、uh, I would like to ask a question which is may not relevant to this one.、Mm? Is that if you are saying、uh, what algos can do uh, uh, and uh, what the advantages of algo, we have heard so much about it, but If they are work actually making money like the way you are, you are you say, why do you have to disclose this、uh, trade secret with us? What do you have to share with us? Look, al- algos aren't the the holy grail, if you want to call it. Okay, algorithms are just to me a better way to trade.、Mm-hmm. Now, before we showed the、uh, the, the back testing results of a particular strategy、mm-hmm. that works on cryptos, now. That doesn't necessarily mean that the、uh, the performance、uh, will actually become that,、mm-hmm. because anything can happen. I see. Okay, so the markets、Such、do as, change.、Uh, government jumping Any, in. Anything. Governments jumping in,、um, saying that、uh, you know cryptos are illegal.、Uh, that that could cause a serious serious move that anybody、uh, nobody expects. I mean, we had that particular move with the. Uh, with the Swiss franc or the Swiss、hey. bank, that you know, on Tuesday he was saying he's going to hold the peg, and then on Thursday he pulls the peg, <laughs> right? So, so anything can happen, and this is the thing: it's not just、um, cryptos; it's any product that you trade. Anything can happen. So, so you don't think it's a trade secret, in other words? That's why you you don't mind、uh, look, share, sharing it. Look, I think the more、uh, the more people that trade the markets.、Mm. The better it is for everybody,、mm. because the less people that trade, the less volume. Then the spreads widen. Nobody's really interested. But when everyone's trading, you know the spreads get really, really narrow. Okay, Robert. Before I forget, <laughs> I'll try to say. I get excited. 我正话就问咗阿阿 Robert 咧，就系话如果呢一个所谓诶演算交易系讲系讲到咁神神化或者咁国诶神通广大啦，咁点解佢要肯咧就同我哋分享先？咁你係第一點啦。咁啊 ，Arab 就答得好好嘅，就係話咧，其實越多人去買賣咧，就其實做市場嗰個潛力就發掘得到出嚟咧，係更好嘅。咁啊，所以佢唔覺得呢個係一個所謂咩嘅秘密啦。咁所以喺誒佢佢俾啲例子，例如呢個瑞瑞瑞士法郎咧，曾經係劈住美元嘅。咁大家突然間就係脱歐啊，諸如此類嘅嘢咧，咁都係好多市場上嘅變化咧。係冇人捉摸到咁，但係亦都係各施各法咧，大家都係整一啲 crit 誒 crit 誒，即係所謂 algo 出嚟咧，係不同個市場去作戰啦，即係唔唔算係話分享啲咩秘密咯。OK， so、um, the same question is、uh, 
Do you think that um, algo trading uh, are suitable for all ages? Like for all nationalities, doesn't matter? Oh, absolutely. I mean, look, the, the, the biggest thing about whether it's an algo or manual trading, but algos especially, uh, you, look, anybody can build an algorithm mm -hmm. if the, the strategy that they're looking at is on the charts, mm. okay? If you can say, I want to buy here because of this reason, then it can be built. Mm. So there's no reason for people not to build it mm. other than they're not confident in their strategy. Mm. Then there is a reason to build it because they need to get confidence in the strategy. We work with people as well from, I would say, we've had people who are 20 that are clients of ours that we help to build algorithms, to people that I think we've got a guy that's 86 mm. uh, that is building algorithms. So it's a pretty wide age range there. Uh, 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 只要你可以说得出你是因为什么原因而买入只要你在图上看到的东西都可以形成一个系统都可以形成一个ELGO 你提高信心其实我们一齐合作的客户由二十岁一直到八十五岁都有所以不会因为年龄或者国际的问题就不合作 其實Algo Trading這件事呢 Okay, Robert, I would like to ask you, since we are talking about backtesting is a critical thing sure. for building up, building a successful algo trading system mm -hmm. with parameters that can be tested yes. from history, yes. historical data. Yes. That being the case, uh, how can you choose uh, Bitcoin as one of the uh, target? Because Bitcoin uh, uh, haven't been traded in, uh, in, the, in the futures exchange for only a few months. So, so it's not a big database and you're choosing a, a, a small database to, to infer a, a result. Would it be too risky? Patrick, you know what, That's a, that, that is actually a really good question for the viewers. Because, uh, look, we're a professional trading firm, right? And I don't, I, I will not encourage people to trade something like a crypto because there are risks. There, there, there is not enough data mm. for you to analyse it correctly. We're comfortable with our models and we monitor them, mm. right? So for, for me to turn around and say to you, go and trade cryptos is the only way, that's definitely not gonna happen. I think mm. it's too risky mm. for anybody to trade a product that they don't understand. Mm. And cryptos, there's a lot of things that could go wrong. Now, us as a trading firm, we're prepared to take on some of those risks because we do trade it in smaller size. So I, I definitely don't encourage it uh, for people to just go out there, build algorithms, and trade cryptos. That's definitely not what, what we're saying. John, go ahead. Rob said that this is a very good question. Because we actually don't 
誒喺市場上面做緊炒緊啊外匯啲嘅朋友去直接去炒 algo 啊炒 crypto 炒 bitcoin， 因為 bitcoin 嘅歷史實在太短，佢入邊嘅風險係非常高嘅。咁如果你真係對 bitcoin 對 algo 冇信誒冇。呃冇足夠嘅知識同埋瞭解，你就去炒佢嗰、那個風險誒嘅、呃、程度係我哋一啲都唔會、呃、去鼓勵人哋去做嘅一樣事情。咁我哋對我哋嘅策略，我哋對我哋嘅 algo， 我哋對 crypto 嘅瞭解性都相對比較高。同埋作為一個誒、呃、專業嘅、呃、交易嘅 firm 嚟講咧，我哋係有依個心理準備同埋有依個能力。去誒、呃、營運呢啲咁嘅高風險嘅 algo， 但係對個人嘅、呃、交易員嚟講咧，你係要對誒唔、呃、單止係對 bitcoin， 都要對 algo 有、呃、一個特定嘅一到一個、呃、程度嘅了解，先至可以去接受呢個風險。係嗱，咁啊，中解釋咗啦，咁啊，亦都我問咗個問題，咁咧，我而家再問咗另一個問題咧，就係、是、一連一口氣三個問題啊 ，Justin 啊，咁就。我誒問咧就第一點樣一個即係初學嘅人咧去去學識咧點樣去買用 algo 買賣啦，咁同埋咧佢點樣知道佢嘅參數咧係掂唔掂咧嗱，咁同埋可唔可以用一個手機？誒、um, ，Mr. Lamb here， there's there are three questions for him. How soon can a layman learn to trade with algo? And how do he he knows if he setting the sound? And can he do it through? Uh, apps a mobile. Okay. Um, the first question was: how, how soon can a layman learn to trade with Al? How how much time are you going to put into it? Okay, that's the question. Yeah. If you think you can do it part time or uh, once every you know five minutes every three months or it, it, look, you have to put the effort in. Mm. Okay, uh, it can take you. Six months. It can take you one year. It can take you three months. Anything to do with IQ or EQ? <laughs> you know, IQ has a part to play.、Mm. If the chart starts in the bottom left-hand corner and it goes to the top right-hand corner, it's an uptrend. If、mm. you can't see that, <laughs> then you probably shouldn't be trading the markets.、Mm. Okay. So that's the IQ part. Sorry. What about EQ? <laughs> <laughs> And can it be used in a mobile phone?、Uh, mobile phones.、Um, look, building building an algorithm. I, I know that mobile phones are really cool and funky and all that kind of stuff. But seriously, if you're going to trade off your mobile phone, that's for you know other stuff.、Uh, get 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 a get a proper computer. Get if you're serious, do it properly, right?、Mm. And d- don't muck around. That、okay. that's that's mine. And how do and. The second question: How do they know that the parameters are correct? Right. Look, I think the parameters take time to understand. Right. When you start building algorithms, the beauty about、uh, what they can do for you is they can show you what works and what doesn't work. And as you keep on building more and more algorithms, you'll find that a certain set of settings work better. Or they work a lot more when you build specific models, right? And that's how it just takes time.、Uh, you can't you can't do it overnight, Patrick. It, it, it really does take time. Nobody became successful at anything <laughs> overnight. I mean, my overnight success started with philosophy, 1996, <laughs> which is a long time. 或者我講咗，等阿張補充啦。咁啊 ，Robert 就講啦，其實做咩嘢都要咧，係要花少時間去。浸淫啦，同埋所謂咧係做少少功課啊。咁如果你話要講到係咪有好有智慧先得咧？咁佢好簡單，好幽默地話：只要你見到個個 chart 係由左邊去到右邊，咁你都知道係上升咧。咁你知道咧，你你個 IQ 就係需要你明白就得噶啦。咁啊，咁呢方面咧就係佢認為咧係唔需要話好好嘅 IQ 嘅。咁但係至於係點樣可以令到你啲參數得唔得咧？其實佢話即係要好多時間去浸嘅，要慢慢去知道。咁但係係咪可以用手機咧？咁佢就唔係好建議用手機嘅，因為誒、呃、如果係講緊都比較嚴謹嘅投資啦。咁雖然係用 algo 去做啦，始終都係一個投資。咁啊，不如咧用一個好啲嘅電腦咧去參與啦，就好過咧用手機。阿、啊、張有冇補充？冇啊。嗯。OK， so 
uh, we you basically answer the questions. But the question that I asked you uh, about EQ, yep. Do you need a good EQ? Because you see the system is maybe working against your your uh, your will. So we stop the machine and do it. Uh, so do you need a good EQ to to overcome all these hurdles? Look, in, in any type of trading that you do, you have to understand the model that you're you're using. I mean, for example, let me, let me give you an idea. Okay. If an event's about to occur, say for example, Brexit, mm -hmm. okay? We know that Brexit's going to occur. Mm -hmm. Now, it's gonna come down to you. Remember, you're trading your money, okay? Your hard-earned money. If Brexit is coming and you've got positions in uh, the pound, if you've got positions in the euro, if you've got positions in uh, the UK markets, you have to ask yourself a question, Patrick. You have mm -hmm. to say to yourself, am I prepared to take the risk with the Brexit scenario? Because I don't know what the outcome's going to be. Exactly. So I think that's what, comes, what it comes down to. If you're prepared to take the risk, take it. Mm -hmm. If you're not, turn off your algorithm mm -hmm. and wait until all the kerfuffle, if you want to call it, all the mess sort of plays out and then switch it back on when you're comfortable. So I asked Robert to ask Robert if you need a very high pressure level of emotion. For example, if you think about something and that algo system, that system is connected to the system, is connected to the system, do you need to stop it immediately? He thinks that actually, 去到最尾咧，你都係要明白自己做緊乜噶啦。譬如好似英國脱歐，你明知英國脱歐對英鎊有影響嘅時候咧，你坐重倉去英鎊，而一而嗰、那個誒 algo 係做都係亦都叫你坐重倉，但係最後咧就知道好風險好大咧，可能你都係即係需要熄咗部機，唔搞嗰個 algo， 因為最後都係講緊咧風險管理嘅問題啦。咁啊誒，鐘有冇補充呢方面？嗯，咁 Rob 都有話到。你你而家緊誒 trade 緊嘅係你自己嘅錢，咁你一定要對你自己嘅風險接受嘅程度有好詳細嘅認識，因為你譬如話誒英國脱歐嘅時候，你要問自己一條問題，係你願唔願意去接受呢個風險？你願唔願願意去接受？因為冇人知啊會係咩結局。如果你接受唔到嘅話，就將個 out 個熄咗佢。嗯。Okay, I got a very good question from Calvin Mao here. What is the entrance capital for algo trading to start with? So, uh, Calvin, that just ask, how can we start to do algo trading? How much money can we get to the Look, to do it to do it properly. Uh, when I say properly, uh, without avoiding. Um, margin calls or you know getting yourself into a position where uh, you know margin calls start to occur I'd probably say that look around that ten thousand dollar mark um, you know and then you've got to trade in really small size uh, there's no point in in having a, a really small account and then uh, literally what will happen is if the algos go against you which they will don't, don't Algorithms will go against you because the market goes against you. Not necessarily the specific algorithm, but the market will change its mind, which it's allowed to do. And I understand that. So, you know, trading with a small account with algorithms, it, it could hurt, you know, and I, we, we definitely don't. I don't think it's a good idea. So I think about that $10,000 mark is, is a good number. Um, but again, you, you've got to be comfortable. Look, Hong Kong dollar or US dollar? <laughs> I say Australian dollars, which is, okay. uh, you know, uh, but, but people need to be comfortable, Patrick. Yeah. They need to be comfortable with okay. what they're trading. Okay. So, Jim, I asked Rob, I asked him, how much money do you to open this account? And he said, actually, to avoid the time, to pay 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 the time, 佢個佢言下之意咧就係話，其實應該係大概一萬蚊美金，一萬蚊澳澳幣到啦。咁亦都咧係要自己又覺得係，即係坐喺度咧好安樂噶啦，唔會話周不時坐立不安啦，因為輸一炒下 call 翻錢好大件事噶嘛。咁呢方面咧係心理一一因素咧多過一切嘅。咁就睇下鐘有冇補充。冇補充。
Okay, so um, we're trying to go to another perspective is uh, when it comes to um, event-driven things like uh, what happened to Facebook before. Yes. Facebook, we, we, we all know that uh, they did exposing secrets of the users that they're not supposed to do. And all it boils down, it has to do something to do with the uh, Trump election at that time. Yeah. So people are very, uh, um, very anxious about what happened. And can we make use of this kind of incident to make money? Uh, building an echo, uh, algo based on event driven? Or you might ask, uh, Robert, uh, how can we use some events to build up some so-called event-driven events? For example, Facebook is recently happening, it's a secret, and it's a secret that it's a secret so that it's a secret that it's a secret. Will we know that it's a secret that it's a secret that it's a secret that it's a secret that it's a secret? 會唔會我哋設計一啲參數咧，係基於呢啲咁嘅事件咧嚟，我賺咗錢，我睇下佢點樣拍。啊 ，look event-driven algorithms， 誒、uh, ，some some trading firms feel that they are feasible， 嗯、um, ，but you got to look at it，you you have to look at it in a way where， 誒、uh, ，those type of models are temperamental， because remember you're telling the algorithm what is good news。What is bad news? Mm -hmm. Now, uh, just like we were talking earlier about who your competitor is, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. To me, you know, Facebook comes out with something. Uh, it might be the data breach, which is what's going on. Uh, I could I could evaluate it to be a certain type of risk. Mm -hmm. I could say this type of risk creates a 10% drop in in Facebook. Then my algorithms are going to go and buy. Mm -hmm. Then there's other people who will say. Well, no. We think that this is a really bad thing for Facebook, and they will just start short selling Facebook, mm -hmm. and then it might go down to 20%. So you're you're really sort of going against the same thing. So there's no difference to if you were to sit down with an Excel spreadsheet and analyze the data and create a scenario of when to buy and when to sell. So, so to me, we we try and avoid event-driven type algorithms. Um, because they, they can be temperamental. And look, at the end of the day, if we're wrong, uh, we could get hurt, and we don't like getting hurt in the markets. So, Mabali. Rob said about Facebook incident, this incident, many people doing trading in the market may have different perspectives. For example, I may think this incident is a uh, 一個風險會我覺得個個會提高個股價但係其他人可能就會覺得呢個係一個相對比較 我們本身來說,我們公司本身來說,我們就會避免用這種的Algo,因為始終這種的Algo,它都是有些脾氣的,有時它會比較,有時你會預測得對,但有時都會預測得錯。OK, okay, very good. Um, um, Eddie, I've got a quick question from Eagle Lee from Facebook. Do you have the success rate of Algo trading in different markets? Example, for foreign exchange index, Bitcoin and things like that, the rate of success that he's talking about. Uh, we trade all different models uh, on all those different markets. So sometimes some models perform, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they perform better on certain markets, sometimes they don't. So I wouldn't necessarily say that any one market performs better than the others. According to your experience? So uh, I would say it, it just depends. Sometimes we trade over 50 models. So sometimes some of the models don't work too well on a particular product. Mm. Sometimes other models do work well on that. It all changes. It, what, what does it depend on? What makes a difference? Uh, it just depends on market conditions. So I mean, we try and build markets, we try and build models to suit particular market conditions. Okay. Uh, and sometimes those models perform really well, and then sometimes they don't perform well. So good. Sorry if I can't be any more specific about that, but... Uh, Joe? Bye-bye. 
。咁誒、um, ，Eddie 嘅意思就係話冇一個特定嘅市場係有特別嘅優勢或者係有特別嘅誒、呃、短處嘅。我哋有公司入有我哋有超過五十套誒、呃、交易算法系統。咁、呃、所有嘅市場我哋都會、呃、做 trade 啦。咁、呃、有啲有啲系統喺一個特定嘅市場會特別好，誒、呃、喺另外一個市場就反而唔會 work。但係誒冇話有乜嘢市場係最適合 Algo 嘅咯。嗯，咁、嗯、好清楚啦。咁我亦都要問埋啦 ，Kelvin Yu 咧就係問咗個問題幾好啊！就係話咧，既然咧好多專業嘅發誒基金啊，已經有本身已經有 a l g o t r a d e 㗎啦，咁同埋佢好多專科係做呢方面嘅時候咧，作為我哋嘅散户啊，究竟有冇同佢一齊去競爭，會唔會係蝕底咧？咁 OK， this question by brought up by Mr. Kevin Yu， 誒、uh, ，what he's trying to say is as a professional、uh, professional fund already has started the a l g o t r a d e And they have many experts backing up them. Them. So why do you think,、uh, as retail investor, still have comparative advantage in in uh, like uh, using your model? Ah,、uh, in relation to algos. Well, as an amateur retail. Well, compared to funds who already have experts building them. Look, at the end of the day, if you don't build algorithms,、uh, you're going to be you're going to be so far behind them anyway.、Mm. So、uh, you've got a choice. Right, you can, you can think that you've got no chance against funds. I mean, look, the funds,、uh, they do. They have mathematicians. They have、uh, scientists, scientists. Rocket scientists. Look, they're, they're very, very smart.、Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong. And that's the thing. We are competing against them. Yeah. Now, if we don't use algorithms ourselves, then we're going to, to me. I think we're going to lose. Right.、But、what is the learning curve going to be? Steep. Very steep, very long. It's, it's, it's look. How much money can you lose before you can、uh, get get、uh, the, the real fat, real results? I'd probably say that if you're、uh, smart enough to not throw all your eggs in one basket,、mm-hmm. right? Then you know you could probably lose that money, right? But how much is that money? So、um, to me, the way I see it is that. You should only play or trade with the money that you can afford to lose.、Mm, that's for sure. Okay, no more, right? Because you, you, if you go in too hard, I use that word too hard. So the position size is really big. Then you have a potential of losing all of your money,、mm. and and that is a real possibility.、Mm. So for the retail trader, I, I'd say it. To any retail trader, you need to consider the risks before you do anything.、Mm. If you're not comfortable with your model, if you're not comfortable with your algo, don't trade it with real money.、Mm. I mean,、okay. you're just asking for trouble. Sorry,、mm. I, I, I'm,、yeah. I, I really think well, we need to stress the risks. Joe, please. 咁誒個問題就係對於大嘅。既然啲誒、呃、大機構都已經用緊 algo， 我哋有冇機會同佢哋誒競爭？咁如果你唔用 algo 嘅話，你離佢哋嘅距離會更加大啊！咁如果你用 algo， 誒、呃、可能仲有一次機會，但係誒佢哋有專業嘅數學師，有專業嘅誒、呃、精數師，咁誒、呃、我哋自己要點點樣同佢哋競爭？啊，確實係一個問問題，但係如果你唔用 algo 嘅話，你就會離得佢哋更加遠咯。誒、呃，同埋誒阿 Rob 就覺得誒、呃，始終喺誒、呃、交易上面唔理你係誒、呃、手動交易或者係算法交易，誒、呃、個重點係喺個風險管理度。咁、嗯、你唔好將所有嗰啲錢擺入一個同一個户口度或者誒、呃、trade 同一樣嘢。你一定要誒清楚自己嘅底線，同埋你可以支付到幾多錢出嚟嚟做交易，千祈唔好超過自己嘅誒能力。係 ，OK， we got about thirty、uh, minutes, thirty、uh, uh, three、uh, about one minute left. In one sentence, tell our audience what to、uh, do、uh, with algo trading, please. Start. <laughs> Start. Start. That's quite、uh, concise. <laughs> O.K. 我哋就話用一句話咧，就係點樣可以表達到咧係 algo trading 應該點樣啦？佢就話開始啦，你要你要試先有得玩噶，乜嘢都唔試唔使講啦。咁呢方面咧，其實我哋都多謝三位咧係嚟自澳洲嘅
誒專科人才啦，包括阿 Eddie 啦，阿 John 又幫我哋翻譯好多謝佢，咁同埋阿阿阿 Robert 咧係 founder 咧係都親自嚟同我哋解釋啦。咁有機會咧，我哋都會再邀請佢上嚟咧，睇下自己點樣參與呢個遊戲。不過今日嚟講啊，純粹係資訊性嘅。咁啊，多謝大家收睇咯。